Exactly. That's how you do it. Perfect. Okay. Well, if you have any more questions, feel free to call me. Tomorrow is a big opening night for our orchestra, and we all need to give it 100%. <laughs> I know we can do it. We've all worked so hard. Okay? Bye! <laughs> hey! Hi, baby! Mm. <laughs> I'm surprised. Yes, yes I'm surprised, really. I thought you said you were still going to be at work, so we're going to cancel our dinner plans. boss let you go early. How? What did you say to them? I mean, you had, what, an hour and a half left of work? What did you say? What was the excuse? Mm -hmm. Did they really, really believe that? They let you use the excuse that you were going to see your girlfriend for dinner. Usually that doesn't work. Ah, uh, there you go. You promised that you would record the... Ah, <laughs> uh, I forgot your boss liked classical music. Well, you're here. And opening night is tomorrow, so they'll have to wait on that recording for then, I guess. Well, yeah, they don't usually allow recordings, but if you stood backstage, I'm sure I wouldn't mind. I'll just let the production know that you made a promise that you have to keep, okay? Yeah, no problem. So, how was work? What? You want to know about me first? No, that's not how this works. I asked you first. Yes, that is exactly how it works. If I asked first, you have to answer before I answer your question. Mm -hmm. That is the rules. So, how was work? Mm -hmm. Ah. Hmm. Stressful, but good, productive, all right, I'm proud of you, babe. I remember you and the company were very, very stressed about the project you guys had to do. HQ is happy, I'm so glad. Your branch is really good at their job, so I have no doubt in my mind that you will all be rewarded very well for your hard work. <laughs> yes. Yes, that means I can answer your question now. Hmm. Rehearsal was nice. Very stressful. Because, like you might have heard me on the phone, tonight is the last night before our opening, and that's tomorrow evening. I'm a little nervous, but the rest of the orchestra and I have been working for half a year for this. And I think we got it. <laughs> yes, most definitely. I'm just a little worried about my solo, but who isn't? If you work in a group and suddenly you're the one who has to stand up while everyone's sitting down, it's, it's a little nerve-wracking. Well, thank you for believing in me, baby. I really appreciate it. Oh, speaking of solo, I've been kind of tough with this one part. Hilariously enough, it's the beginning of the piece. But since I recorded the piano accompanist, I'm able to play as much of the song as I want to practice back at home over and over and 
over and over until I get this one specific part right. Hmm? Oh, well, yeah, I had her play the entire piece, her part of the entire piece, so that I could play along with it and practice the entire song, but that one beginning spot is where I need to work it the most. Would you like to hear it? Really? It might get messed up a little bit, but maybe practicing in front of you will help. <laughs> oh, I'm so lucky to have you. Okay, just get yourself comfortable and I'll set up my phone. Let's see. Get to this app. Here we go. Get my violin. Ready? Okay. wasn't my best. I could have done so much better. Really? <laughs> you really think I'm too hard on myself? <sighs> I mean, I guess maybe. Only maybe. I know. I know that you loved it. Thank you. I'm glad to have you. So thankful that you're mine, and I'm yours. You're such a great supporter. Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> Why are you saying you don't have any talents? <sighs> Just because you don't have a musical background like I do doesn't mean you're not talented in things. Yes, really, I'm serious. Look, not everybody is going to be skilled in the same thing. It's perfectly fine, too. We can't have everybody be a musician. We can't have everybody be a scientist. And not everybody can be, uh, I don't know, well, anything, really. It's great that people have different talents, different types of skills, because it's part of what makes the world so even, in a sense. Like the two of us. I'm more musically inclined, however, you can do things that I'm super terrible at. You're skilled in so many things, smart, intelligent, and very cute and good looking as well. <laughs> uh, I know it isn't exactly applicable, but I had to throw that in there. Really, you shouldn't look down at yourself just because I have a different talent than you do. Hmm? <laughs> what do you mean? By that, you meant you'll never be as talented. Maybe. <laughs> Do you realize how silly you sound right now? I mean, think about it. Yes, you may not have played violin or any other instrument for as long as I have. That's fine. You can do so much more, so much better than I can. And, I mean, I get a little jealous about that too, but in the end, <laughs> exactly, 
you should just focus on you. Well, focusing on you doesn't mean that you have to ignore everybody else, their achievements, their stories, what they've accomplished. Not at all. That just means while you acknowledge with their gifts, their talents, the showcases that they put on, you shouldn't let it distract you from the skills that you do have. Mm hmm. Perfect example. Um, my sister, she and I together started playing. Hmm. What was it? Ah, we used to go climbing together all the time. She was way better at it than me. And soon enough, I stopped climbing and she continued to practice until she was in the competitions. It was a really crazy ride, but she did extremely well. I, on the other hand, didn't know why I wasn't able to climb as well as her. And... I was just as jealous until I realized that there are a ton, and I mean a ton, of skills that I'm way better at than she is. I mean, I don't mean to sound conceited because she's really, really good at a lot of things too, but so am I. It's just that we're skilled in different fields. And so, once I realized that, I drew that attention together and forced it to look towards myself. I needed to start working on my own accomplishments and to acknowledge the fact that I did well. I also learned that, well, comparing yourself to somebody else is never going to end well. You can use it to motivate yourself to do better. But, in the end, it's all up to you. You're the one who can make yourself better, can make yourself worse, can enhance a skill that you're given, or just let it go to waste. Either way, I focused more on music than focusing on my sister being amazing at climbing. I, instead, began to focus on my music, playing piano, violin, singing, and now look at me. I don't think I'd be playing in such a big orchestra today if I didn't take my eyes off my sister's success. <laughs> well, trust me, I'm sure you're talented. I know you have talents. I mean, there's so many things that you've shown me, you've told me about, that you're good at. You're great at it. So, don't sell yourself short. Just because I can play violin like this and you can't quite yet, it doesn't mean you're not talented. We all have our own skills, and in the end, that's what we should focus on. Ourselves our own skills, what we can do on our own. And then, well, once you start to focus on your abilities, things just get a lot less stressful. At least I think so. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. One talent that I know for sure is that you know how to make me very, very happy. <laughs> Pretty cheesy, isn't it? Well, you do. And I'm so thankful to have you in my life. And I'm extremely thankful that you're here so that we can go get dinner together. You still have the reservations? Oh, perfect. Hmm. Let's go back home so I can change. I'll leave the violin at home. No sense in bringing it with us. And then we can go and get to the restaurant and have a bite to eat. Alright. Well, let's go.